it's likely to expect for us to be. So let's go to one hour time frame. We start with DSY. So yesterday I told you guys that um, I'm not certain about the direction of the um, dollar index. That I will be looking at what price does here, what price does here. That what price does here is what is going to determine what I will be doing next. So you guys see our uh, price got into this region. There was not much thing happening, and later on, it expanded to the upside. So if you have been following up since Monday, you have been talking about this high that I want my case to come back and take out all this liquidity here, take out this high, and that is when I will be anticipating to see if we are going to have some kind of short on dollar. So now, what am I expecting here now? So if you get into daily time frame. Um, it looks like more like we already have the pullback. We are likely to continue on the upside. So, but it all depends on what NFP does today. Today is NFP. So now, um, it would have been healthier if we can see um, dollar in kind of giving us this deep pullback down to this region. Then we cannot continue to the upside if we can have that kind of deep pullback. So now, um left for me i i i feel i feel this is liquidity they they came to keep so they they created this loss so that they can come back for it later to do what to read it so more like they'll come back now take out this liquidity come back to deep into this region then we continue going so it's more like they they want to use this now as liquidity so now this is basically uh um what i'm looking out for in dollar then um aside that looking at the market fundamentally if what we will be looking at to see in nfp today so um if you look at this you see um the rcmi uh, manufacturing pmi came out negative um what do you have again we have um, the job job opening okay um a lot of people retained their job that was good and we had about they were expecting um they were expecting it to drop to 11.9 million people that's they're expecting about uh, 20 20 million people to drop their job but unfortunately we had more people coming into the job sector so which was a very good news for them then i'm uh, looking at uh, on wednesday um if you look at now um, the us now previous month they created 479k jobs and they were looking at um in kind of the job creation should drop to um they were looking to create at least 382,000 jobs um, that is this um, previous month they were looking to create 382,000 jobs but unfortunately you can see they created 247k job so that was not good enough then i'm um, looking at the icmi pmi the size pmi now they were expecting it now to go higher at least a little bit by 0.2 percent which was to 58.5 see they were not even able to meet up with their previous month's target that was still bad for them then uh, looking at uh, um, what is it called? Looking at unemployment claim now. So definitely now, if we cannot create new jobs according to what we are expecting, definitely unemployment should increase. So you see that the previous unemployment was 180k. They were expecting to retain unemployment uh, figure to be around 180k, but you see the unemployment rate increased why won't it increase when we are unable to create more job so you see the u.s economy of the previous one and i think um uh, the gdp as of last week the gdp of uh, first quarter was pretty bad i think they were unable to meet up with their, their previous target so you see um a lot of factors have shown that the high tendency that dollar is going to sell today so dollar is going to be weak today um i'm expecting nfp to be a sell uh um day today so what am i waiting for in nfp today so if i can see dollar pushing high and taking out these buy stops thereby breaking the high of the previous day i will be looking for short opportunity here so i'm not doing anything on this london section i'm more of waiting to see what happens above this high so if i get a good short opportunity above this high i'm willing to take that and i'm willing to hold all down to see if we can come back to this region so now uh, where other place can i look for target profit so let's go to four hours so now if you come if you come to um, four hours you see we have um we have this uh level here so i can also um look at this level as target profit so what am i looking out for now so what i'm looking out for you see we have some kind of pullback i want my kid to take out this liquidity then give me some such kind of pattern like this then 
we target here so this is basically what i'm looking at for dollar today so i'm bearish on nfp today so if i get a bearish setup i'll be very glad and that is what my uh watch out will be out for so now let's look at um let's look at euro usd and gbp usd so here on euro usd i posted earlier on the telegram group that all i'm looking out for now is long position yeah so now if you see on euro usd now that i'm looking out for long position does not mean that you should go in without some um, confirmations and jump into a long we have liquidities resting here all below here we have, these are liquidities so now i would want to see if market even if we are not going to take out this low here at 1.04700 i want this one this particular liquidity here to be taken out for me to start anticipating for long so if, if, if you look very close you see the market is just consolidating we're on a consolidation phase so it's more like we come to the downside we push to the upside we come to the upside we push to the downside this is more like what we have been doing but um for me to have a, a, a high probability setup i would like to see if market can go below this liquidity at least around 1.04800 could be a good level to start looking for long entry so this is basically what i'm looking at for an euro usd today so um let's look at the uh, gbp usd so yeah here on gbp usd gbp usd is already on a region where i want gbp usd to push up from so anything around this level here taking our previous this oh this level here i'll be looking for long position on gbp usd so uh, i'm basically looking to see if uh, gpsd can read the previous days low so that's to say if gpsd takes out this low during um uh what is it called during new york section that is um, um during nfp time if you can see a rate below this low and i get a good uh, buy um, setup any any of our buy pattern let's say we get something of this nature i can be looking for long opportunity so this is basically what i'm looking for out for gpsd and um Euro USD. Okay, so let's look at um, yesterday on GBP USD. Let's look at yesterday on GBP USD. I forgot earlier, we did not talk about that on um, Euro USD. So now, yesterday on um, GBP USD, I told you guys that um, this region is a very, very good region for um, long opportunity. I made mention of this region as a good region for the long opportunity. And I highlighted 1.25200 as where you can go long from i highlighted 1.25200 as where you can go long from and you see market came exactly at 1.25200 and rejected from there so now if you would have gotten your entry from there you would have made at least let's check you would have made at least 57 pips before this market reversed so why did this market reverse we had a major news yesterday on gbp which pushed the market lower so as you can see um the official bank that is the bank of england they hiked their rate from 0 0.75 by 25 bp that is taking it to one uh 1.0 interest rate so um whenever um uh, uh banks hike rate aggressively definitely is going to have an effect in the economy because the economy has to move a, a, a backward to gain strength to be able to uphold that so it's it's more like it came like a shock to people i don't know if you understand it came like a shock to people so now um I was looking to short GU because I knew this was going to happen. So now I have this um, liquidity here, which I already seen that market has taken out. Let me take this to five minutes. So market has taken out this liquidity. I had my break of structure here. So now I was fearful about this other liquidity here, but I was more like, okay, um, this is a good um, zone that market has bounced off from. Do you understand? So I took it that it's a good zone that market has bounced off from then i had my break of structure here. so i had my entry my first entry here then i had my other entry at, i had my first entry at one I had my first entry at the uh, 1.25680 1.25680 and i have my other entry at 1.25600 and my other entry at 1.25600 so you see this is the boot entry here so um I, I knew definitely there is going to be a kind of a push out to pick me up but um little do i know that um, they will definitely want to come and rate this um equal highs here so now you see um this this was my prediction so i was anticipating the market to fall to at least rate this uh, particular previous day slow which my target was um to take out this previous day which was about 120 pips 
so you see um it was unfortunate market just pushed high and take out those um, liquidity cleared my stop loss exactly my stop loss here this was where my stop loss was you see market just came from my stop loss and went to your di my direction so um what are we looking out for today what are we looking out for today so that just like i told you guys on that level there yeah, this is where we will be looking for long opportunity today so i'm going to be long on gbp usd pertaining to the pattern i see okay as you can see market has already taken out the previous this low already so now if i see a good pattern for a buy opportunity during um, new york session i'll be taking that so anticipating that nfp is what weak that is to say that if nfp is weak i expect a weaker dollar why buy our foreign currency gu eu gain strength so this is basically what i'm looking at for today so now let's look at um, um this thing let's look at the um, gold so yesterday we highlighted this i told you guys that i'm anticipating gold now at this region where it is to do what to fall this was where gold was so you see gold drops then went to move higher so now i never got into here because there was no criteria for me to get in so i was just sitting on the sideline waiting so during new york section the market came to do what attack this liquidity we had this liquidity got traded so now why the liquidity got traded we have our liquidity zone here then we have a major zone here where we are looking for sell so now you see immediately market bounced off there had my limit entries waiting for market there and i was just risking just this level here which is about 40 pips so you see we we're able to catch uh, this is 350 pips so uh and i told you guys here yeah, look for short opportunity and anticipate this market to this was what i told you guys anticipate the market to do what come back to this region and likely do what bounce off so that just the way we are looking out for uh, 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 uh what is it called weaker dollar today so if we have a weaker dollar today then that is to say that uh what we are looking out for good is likely going to do what happen there's going to be a what a stronger good so but before that let's look at daily time frame to see the kind of pattern we have so now if you come to daily time frame now if you come to daily time frame now you would agree with me that we have this region here where price have bounced off from i have this region here where price has bounced off from and we have um we have we are we are in an oversold region we call it oversold region we have all this liquidity price are taking up we have all these levels here that price needs to come back to to fill so um i'm um, i'm um, i'm still looking at a scenario whereby we can have a possible push to the upside today which i'm not certain about it depending on what uh, what is it called depending on what nfp looks like that is what is going to tell me what to do if i'm going to get into this long or not but with the kind of reaction we are seeing here on this today's candle it's telling us something that we might likely have a bullish day today so we don't know for sure but um we'll be looking at um the possible thing that happened in nfp today so that is basically what i have for you guys this morning if you have questions you can kindly unmute yourself and ask Okay, now analyze BTC loss. Okay. Okay. So now, BTC, um, I told you guys yesterday, I told you guys yesterday that it looks like we have done what? We have broken structure to this level here. So now, market goes to this region and did what? Sold off aggressively. So now I told you guys that um, if we have a good reaction here, we'll be looking for long opportunity. If you see, market never even gave you any opportunity to get into a long that region. Market just dropped aggressively. If you have been following up with morning shower since Monday, I've always highlighted this region that if price can come into this region, I'll be looking for long opportunity and I'm still doing that. So I don't expect um, BTC to go below this level here. I'm not expecting BTC to go below this level. Not that BTC is not on the bearish trend, but I don't expect it to go. So I'm expecting BTC to bounce off this region here. So now, why am I expecting BTC to bounce off there? Uh, because uh, I know definitely it's going to bounce off here. So now, here on this region here, now, I'm monitoring BTC very, very close. That was what I thought. I also posted, I said, I'm only looking for long opportunity here now on BTC. So now I'm looking at kind of possible pattern the market will create. So if I get a pattern here for long, I'm going to be buying. And if I get a long pattern here, this is where I'm targeting. I'm looking at I'm looking at uh, this region here. So I'm more like 
okay if i can have something of this nature here i'll be targeting i want all this liquidity to be taken out i want price to come back to at least 41k so this is basically what i'm looking out for um btc so i want price to come back and attack this kind of um uh bearish trend line market has created now because more like okay everybody um antis will anticipate this now so when it gets here now there's going to be a lot of people who will be willing to sell btc at this level so um what we now see in that kind of scenario is market gets here try to do some kind of pullback market gets here try to do some kind of pullback then we attack them aggressively so this is basically what i will be looking out for btc so um you know btc can consolidate for some days before it move so let's see if it's going to if nfp is going to make it move today or this is likely what we'll be looking at for next week so depending so there's it here i don't know it doesn't have any question no question from my side okay okay in absence of no question i think we call it a day wish you guys good weekend meet you guys on